Hello viewers, welcome to Computer Institute. My name is Xe, and in this video I'm going to tell you how to configure your standard modem to the internet or your com and your computer. So open your network connection, click properties, go to internet protocol TCP IP, double click it and here you can see I've already set up this IPs to my modem. Remember one thing, almost every modem in the world has the IP 192.168.1.1 as the default gateway. So what you have to do is set your IP address to 192.168.2 then subnet mask which will be by default then the default gateway which which, which will be 192.168.1.1 this is your modem IP which will connect you to modem and now the DNS remember if you don't have DNS address then you should contact your network provider and they will tell you the, your default DNS should be now click OK button click OK now you've done now go open the web browser and type here 192.168.1.1 enter now it's asking for the password remember the password by default the password will be ad admin but mine is not admin admin so now this is your modem page this is your modem configuration page you might not using this the same modem but the terminology of the modems are almost equal so what you have to do is just find when settings add a connection then check this when type to PPP remember this is for a standard connection and well I don't know if there is there is another special connectivity leave it as it as double uh, triple POE type here 0 and 103 in cape should be LLC and default root should be there. Now here you should put your username and password that will be given by your network provider at the time of your order which, which uh, might be Ben or something password. Now use DNS yes max idle time always on. Now, now click the apply button and your modem might be restarting for two minutes and you've done and you are now connected to the internet now what are these another settings well it's the further set the FCP it means that if you are using more than one computer on modem then you should enable this and set a range of your IPs I mean if you are using 50 computers so you should keep it to 100 but if you are using two or three computers then you can keep it to five or something and apply. Now here it's a DNS which will be provided by your network administrator at the time of your connection. And other miscellaneous settings for further connectivity. Now close it down, surf the internet, you are now connected through the internet. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.